Giles has three former wives, four children, none of whom were born by the wives. One of the ex-wives, the last, is Cicely Tyson, the actress. She's American, which gives her a bad start with Miles. What's wrong with American women? I say American women act like television. That's the first thing. They act like television? Yeah, like television series. Series. You mean they think they're in a soap opera? Well, you know, in a particular, rather than think about it, they just act like what they saw. Yeah. All right, so we can call Miles a lot of things. People have called him an addict, and people have called him um, mean, and, and people have called him a womanizer. But one thing I have seen, because I've been on the Miles Davis kick and watching his interviews, he's honest. <laughs> he's honest about his experiences, and he is not telling a lie. Like, I don't see a lie. I don't see a lie. I was thinking about my... um romanticism of relationships from listening to R&B music and and watching um movies because I love a romantic comedy and I just love a romance in general you know what woman doesn't it 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 appeals to our feelings while they're teaching the men to um do what the fuck they want we we are often learning that we need to please a man. That is so intentional. I'm I'm thinking and I should be speaking. That shit almost ruined my life. Believing that I had to please anyone. You know why? You know, Miles Davis, let me talk to you. You're not, you're not like in the physical body, but let me talk to you. I know you have higher perspective now that you have pushed through to the other side. But if you, if you were here and you were talking like that, let me tell you something. The reason why she's acting like the TV It's because she thought that that's what you wanted. A lot of times women act in a way that it's considered appropriate according to how they've been socialized. Not according to if they were being themselves. Now, you can get so detached from your true self that you don't even remember anymore. So all you have to give is a false self. I'm sure she didn't want to ruin the relationship, and I'm sure it taught her a lesson. If it didn't teach her a lesson, then she's she was just one of those women that's just kind of like, oh, well, this is who I am. But I don't know. I feel like anytime, um, cause to us, our relationships are like what we were taught that was supposed to give us life. And I feel like because relationships haven't worked out for us ladies, it's, it's, it's kind of forced us to be more in our, um, solar plexus and achieve. It's, it's like. Because we can't have the root, we have had to go into our creativity, which is awesome, but we still feel like something's missing and we don't know how to get that connection, you know? And I, and I feel like some talks need to be had, which is why I started this channel, this series, Tantric Dating. My goal is for us to take this to real life, you know, where we are dating in wholesomeness and fairness and in honesty. I um, have this idea, and I don't mind if other people do this idea with, without me. I feel like ideas 
especially something like this this is a this is a, a world change type of thing that I see you know I have this idea that um you guys give me your astrology charts and I match you up according to your chart at first not caring about looks and sex because to be honest I feel like everyone needs to fast from sex until we can learn how to treat one another or else you're, we're just raping one another for pleasure. It's like digging for, digging for an orgasm and that's not helping anybody. That's not helping anybody be sane. It's driving us crazy. Like this obsession with sex, come on, an obsession with sensuality. We're running away from you know what Mr. Davis was saying like she's basically not thinking for herself she's acting granted Cicely Tyson was the TV she was the TV she was acting like the TV okay and so my idea is that you, you give me your astrology charts I match you up according, according to your charts and um, we meet up We and everybody pays um, it's not just the men paying, it's not just the women paying, um, unless, you know, there's maybe like a special something or another, there's no, I don't want any weight to be put on anyone anymore, because this is non-traditional, this is unconventional, and I remember, um, in, in my teenage years dating, and the guys at church and at the church I was going to some of you guys might have gone there and might still go there as the International Churches of Christ and I really appreciated the dating program that we had where all the guys took all the girls out every weekend and everyone took turns dating and it wasn't because there was a sexual attraction we just got to know one another and the girls would like make cookies for the guys and well we would I would we would make cookies for the guys and make cards and we would show our appreciation you know tell me tell me what you guys think about that and but the focus wasn't on let's let's um heat up some passion and I want to find somebody that's hot you know it was more let's let's find someone where we spiritually connect Without um, spirituality involved, sex is rape. I want you guys to know that. Without um, a prayer, you know, some type of ritual connection. Now, now there, there can be rituals for negativity, but I'm talking about on a wholesome level. You know, on a goodness level. Let's add goodness. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Please. <laughs> Okay, so Miles Davis, women act like the TV. He's absolutely right. You know, my little sister told me, she's 12 years younger than me, and she told me that the standard for her generation as far as women to look up to is Kim Kardashian. And I just had a felt fell out my chair. Because then I was like, I understand now, you know, why the pill popping and the lostness and the addiction to Twitter and, you know, getting followers and um, taking um, selfies at the right angle is everything because that is what got her popping and popular and get her all the men, all the attention, right? Because according to the TV now, attention is all the rave. We just want attention, right? But why isn't it enough? You know, has anyone, do, do you guys ask that? Like, why isn't attention enough? It's never been enough. And it, it, it lacks connection and soulfulness. You need to have a real life behind the scenes, behind the camera, you know, um, a real connection to culture and culture is the basis for like the food you eat the prayers you pray and family 
connection. And if you don't have that at home because you don't have a safe place, how do we build that with each other and stop acting like the, what we see on TV as if that's going to do it for us? It doesn't do it for us, ladies. It doesn't do it for us, and it doesn't do it for our men. Now, if you're with a man and that does do it for him, he's immature and he's spiritually... Um, his consciousness level isn't high. And if you um, find yourself acting like the TV, as Miles Davis says, then you need to look into raising your consciousness level. And consciousness, and I say levels because there's, there, there's different levels of awareness. Um, be more, become more aware of how your body responds in different situations. Are the people you're talking to, do you really like them? Or are you hanging out with them for clout? You know, the conversations you have, do you really like talking about those things? Or are you just talking about them because you want to be down and, and kick it? You know, basically, are you lying to yourself just to kick it? Do you feel like you have to live a lie in order to um, feel, what is it? Because it doesn't make you feel good. Like, living a lie is a form of self-hatred. So he was saying, basically, that women hate themselves. American women hate themselves. Now, I'll also say this at my church. I am not a loud person to me. But to, say, someone um, suburban and sadity, I'm loud and I'm ghetto. But I'm not by my standards because um, I've been to the hood. I lived in the hood when I was younger. When my mom got out of the army, we moved to St. Louis with my stepfather. And I did not fit in there. I, I got made fun of. They picked on me so bad. <laughs> it hurt my little feelings. I just, I did not like black women from living in St. Louis because they were so mean to me. I mean, and now, um, as I've gone through my healing process, I understand black women are sensitive. I also, that's a, and that's a different video. I don't want to go too deep into that, but I just would like to change that term angry black women to sensitive black women because we, we react so strongly to life because of our high level of sensitivity. No, that's how I see it. I, now I see it as kind of a beautiful thing. It's a, it's, it shows what's going on inside. We can't hide. And, and when you can't hide what's going on inside of you, there's a higher chance that you can heal when you can't lie and you can't hide and you can't fake. You're closer to heaven than you actually know. Okay, and on that note... I'm going to, um, this is just going to be a short video, and I'm just going to leave you for, uh, leave you with food for thought. Tell me, tell me what you guys think about this whole thing. Am I, am I telling a lie? Am I saying, am I talking crazy? What's up? I need feedback. Are you wrong? Are you had to have it? You did a lot of bad things. I put. You said you were pimping for a while. Is that bad? Is that bad? Well, yeah, you're right. I'm